I was worried because I didn't see the squirrel with the messed up arm yesterday, but she showed up today looking at me while I was in bed. Like, come on out. And here we are. Tupac came and grabbed me too. So she's here, a squirrel with no name. <laughs> and um, the one with the arm is on right here. It's not infected. And that's awesome. I don't know what condition she'll be in long term, but I don't think it's the arm itself. I don't think it's going to kill her. I think she'd already be gone. So I think she's going to make it. She's going to make it. Look how pretty she is. She's kind of orangish. And um, I, didn't, I don't think I really knew her before the hand thing, before the arm. I swear they, they find me when things get dire. It's like other squirrels tell them to come here. I think it's her other arm that has the problem. But she's pretty, isn't she? She's very sweet. I've had people comment in the comments about how sweet she seems. And one morning I just, I saw her limp across the street and then she went straight into that Red Cross home. So she somehow knew about it. She eats really slow. I've got birds up front. There, there's her arm. I've got birds up front. Do you need another one? I'm extremely relieved to see Ninja today. I'm gonna go up here. I, I did put up some blocks. I'm gonna be replacing these with better stones. <laughs> and um, because I there were animals just crawling under here and she lives under here and I don't want her being woken up in the middle of the night being eaten to death. So I'm protecting her and come here Ninja. It's all about staying alive here. I Staying alive, not the song. I took a video last night on this tiny little toad's habitat that I created. It's not the best, but it's a million times better than what he had. And yeah, it's all about just staying alive. And I saw him moving last night in the leaves that I put out to keep him safe and it felt so good. Ninja, I just tucked this toad into bed. He was moving in the leaves. I put those all to help disguise him. They say it makes him feel more comfortable and I built these rock castles for him and, well, caves or whatever, and protective guard over the whole thing. And a log in there, since they like logs. And then out here, he can also come out here and he can get under that log there. There's a space. Wait, didn't I figure out? Oh yeah, over here. There's a little cave under there that you can get under. Both of those, I think. And then I just put out some fresh greenery to help disguise. And there's like, he can get under that log and there's some rocks and over here, there's a hole that I think is the burrow. And so I disguised that. She waited, she waited until I put the camera out, down. Here you go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do our first jump of the day. You wanna go from there? Whoa, that was good. Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right, next, Ninja, there she is. You wanna go two steps? There, just go one step. You don't feel like jumping? Yeah, we don't always feel like jumping.
All right, there is nobody moving except me and Ninja. Or is that Ninja and I? And there she is. And I'm gonna get a full run of how this goes. She comes out, she goes in through the cement block. She's gonna come out over here, I'm pretty sure. So she goes under my feet, over the river and through the woods. I think this is where she's gonna come out. Well, I'll just talk in the meantime because I don't know what's taking her. Oh, there she is, there she is. All right, what I was gonna say is, so I've been making observations about the Exodus, right? So here's, because it happens every year and I try to understand it more and more every year. So she goes under there just to jam it in her mouth better and then comes out for another one. I don't, we're not jumping today because there's, she. we did a little bit and it was fun, but overall it's just, I can tell she's anxious. So I don't want to make her do anything extra she doesn't have to do. Well, what I was going to say is, so the squirrels have just super hard disappeared. Although Pippi will still come once a day. Rover, I see once a day in the evening. Pippi's now in the afternoon for like 15, 20 minutes. So there's like that, but there's only certain squirrels I'm seeing at all. And when I do, I see very little. Oh man, I missed the whole point of the video. She comes shooting out of here. She probably already did. All right, we're gonna have to do this again. There she is. All right, so yeah, I totally missed the whole run. All right, duh. Okay, so she only she only took two and that's fine. She's, she's doing two today instead of three. Well, anyway, what I was gonna say is the mosquitoes have disappeared as well. I'm able to work outside all day. Okay, that's not good. That could mean the groundhog is coming around and Chippy has pulled in her head. What should I be looking at? What should I be looking at? That's, for anyone who doesn't know, that's an alert, but I'm pretty sure even if you didn't know that, you could probably figure that out. But this one's not as afraid. This one's telling me, Amy, for God's sake, go get the guy. All right, here, you take that and I'll go get the guy. I'm going, I'm going. All right, so now we start looking around. And I think what it is, there's a groundhog that has been living under here. And it looks like a big cat. It really looks like a big cat. And cats are very deadly to squirrels and chipmunks. So out of due caution, and I trust you. So now that she's seen me look under there and not react, she's calming down a little bit. But let me look under right here. I don't see anything. She's calming down a little bit now. Oh, she's running up the tree. Like Amy's a doofus. Just because she can't find it doesn't mean it's hey, not it's there. It's quite a bit later and Ninja and I are back in business. I did not manage to find whoever or whatever set off that squirrel's alert signals. But I can tell by the sounds that things, and that's why I just did the jump with Ninja, things are a little tamer now. It's not just that squirrel alert. The birds in the front yard are quieter. It's, it's less of an anxious sound now. So I don't know where she's gonna come from here. There she is, she's coming up. Very skittish today, but she is the only squirrel out. Chipmunk or squirrel. <laughs> so yeah, it's gotta be nerve wracking. And probably me talking doesn't help because it's like, I'm over here. But yeah, we'll wait till she musters up her courage again. And I'll do another one. And I do see a black squirrel on the deck. I'm gonna go see who that is. Who's this? Who's this? There you go. I'm not sure. Somebody brave. Somebody brave and all alone. I built that. It's dirty right now. It looks better when it's clean and I have more to add to it. There she is. Oh, okay. 
here. There she goes, and go in there. Now what she's shooting out of, I put that there to protect her. I'm gonna go today to a place, very interesting place, to get some stones that'll look better than this, but I've seen too many possums, cats, raccoons, everybody back here that we just need to protect, make it so the big guys can't get in. I saw someone. Little someone. Someone. Come here, little someone. Come here. It's a toad hide, but it works for the chipmunks too. She is getting so good at that. Yep. You want a third one to round it out? Here comes a squirrel. So is she gonna come be with me? Nope, she's gonna go back. She wants to make sure the squirrel's not looking. Someone had left a comment that chipmunks don't like to be touched. I don't know if they were joking, but this one <laughs> does. And um, and so Punky likes when I pet her stomach. And this one, watch this. We hang on. We do that. And uh, she does like it. She likes human touch. Yeah.